Hello again, and this is a little follow-on video to yesterday's video about the new Central Box 300 series. Uh, I got quite a few messages on various means asking about the milliamp counters, and uh, realised that a lot of people haven't twigged to the fact that these are built into uh, the Central Box 200 series, the 400 series, as well as the new 300 series. Uh, and so I thought I'd take a quick look at them and what you do with them. Uh, basically, the inputs on the central boxes count the milliamp hours, in other words, the capacity that you've used from the batteries, and they will just keep accumulating this capacity forever until you tell them to reset back to zero. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've switched the radio off and disconnected the batteries, come back after a year, plug the batteries back in, it'll still show the last milliamp counted. So it's great for uh, you go out for a day. You've obviously, I hope, got voltage alarms on your batteries, but it's handy to know uh, just how much milliamp hours you've taken out of those batteries. And you can set independent alarms on each one because most likely your batteries will have slightly varying voltages. So each battery is going to be putting out slightly different milliamp counter accumulating up over the day. Um, so it's great, reset it at the start of the day and during the day as you have all your different flights switching the radio on and off it keeps accumulating that milliamp counter and the alarm can be set for what you want. So here we have the radio is set up just to prove it. Here's our central box 320, batteries not plugged in. So I shall plug in the batteries. Incidentally, I've also had questions about uh, these bits that I've got on the multiplex plugs. Uh, you do these yourself. You buy something called a Winkler mould, uh, which they do not just for multiplex, but for XT30s and all sorts of things. Sorry, XT60s, not XT30s, and different other ones. And you put your plug in there, and you inject in hot melt glue, and you get that lovely... Um, holder on there so when I'm making up my own leads and stuff I don't even bother with heat shrink anymore. Anywho let's switch on uh, the beast. Turn the model on yes and there as you can see it's come back with the cumulative capacities from the last time we've used it. Now I've set up an alarm on each one so if we go into menu timers alarms you can see each capacity has its own alarm. You choose your sensor, enable it, condition X is greater than 9 milliamp hours. So when it gets to 10 milliamp hours, it will trigger the alarm. What will the alarm do? It will play the file 1.wav, which simply says 1, because I haven't created any file saying warning capacity battery 1, whatever. But obviously you do that in the real world. And you can do other things like have it repeat three times, repeat endlessly. You can announce the current value, meaning the now value, not the electrical current value, by voice. So when it gets there, it'll say 1, and then it'll announce 10 milliamp hours. And I've done something similar for capacity 2. You'll see there in a second what's going on. So let's stir the sticks. Uh, I've deliberately not plugged battery 2 in beforehand, so that it's quite a different value. Uh, and so it'll trigger off battery 1 first, and then the battery to alarm. One, ten milliamp hours. There you go. So it did as the alarm was set to do, which was to play the file one, or whatever announcement you want, and then announce the actual value. So let's try and work battery two up to ten, and get the alarm I've set on there, which is a bit more fun. Remember, the capabilities of this system are just immense. Nearly there folks, here we go. Trigger, we gotta land this thing. We are way low on gas, you understand me? Yeah. Um, and then, at the end of the day, or at the start of a new day, you want to reset them. So you go to Device Explorer, into your central box, 
down to the telemetry min max and set a min max switch and you can set obviously a physical switch for this this would be the main thing to do but i thought just for a bit of fun since we're demonstrating just how much you can do with this system i'd use voice control and just to prove i'm not pushing any buttons here's all 10 of my fingers hey jetty reset counters press the confirmation i'm done haha <laughs> Yes, go out and treat yourself to a, a 24. You know you want it for Christmas. Okay, folks, have fun with that.